hello everyone welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to be telling you guys how you can actually use the msi dragon center in your msi laptop or any other msi computer so this is a mandatory uh, dragon center app for any of the msi laptops or msi pcs because uh, this is the system tuner or you can use this to overclock your msi laptop or, M or msi device or any device that supports it so let's get started and here this is the system monitoring page and here you can have uh, four categories showing you the percentage of cpu usage the gpu usage memory and disk and here the details show the uh, degrees of uh, cpu temperature and the gpu temperature over here and you can free up your ram using this and you can clean up your disk using this and here you can also see what power plan you are on, what fan is spinning at what RPM, the Wi-Fi speed etc. And also you can see how much space is available, how much space you have used and all of your device information. In, in the next one you can actually see the disk called system tuner because this is one of the main parts in MSI Dragon Center. Because this is where you can actually change your system performance according to your usage. So here I'm presently running the current because uh, this is uh, changes in the real time. Whenever you change it to some other mode, you will actually see it happening in the real time. Here it's not showing me turbo and sport because I'm running my laptop on battery. So that is why. And here this is fan speed. You can actually change it to basic, advanced, etc. So Cooler Boost is used when gaming in order to crank up your uh, fan speed to the maximum so that you will get more performance and less temperature. And on the advanced you can actually turn uh, particular curves of your uh, CPU and GPU. So this is where you can actually uh, like increase the fan speed to something whenever it hits the particular temperature. And you can actually alter any how you want to about the fans and then you can save it and whenever you change your uh, fan speed to advanced then those fan curves will be used while other mod is on. Here the DPI settings is used actually for uh, etc things so I'm not going to change anything I'm just keeping it as it is and here it is MSI's RGB so it is actually used for uh, changing your monitor color uh, accuracy according to the particular uh, point you are using like gaming, movie, office etc. All of them are like uh, some particular uh, profiles which you can use it to change your uh, performance. So here this one of the mode is performance, it is a tower mode but not overclocked and it is set to cooler boost and you can change any of them. Then you have to press save and then you need to press apply in order for the profile to be actually enabled so i use mostly this laptop for coding so i have another uh, option made for coding so i used all of these accordingly and this for meeting and this is full power here uh, whenever you keep something at turbo you can actually get the settings icon when, when you press it this is the turbo mode and here you can actually overclock your uh, cpu and gpu this is the overclocking method it's so simple and the last one is economic and I have kept this uh, as I created it as a new profile and uh, here you can see you can set everything here but uh, the thing is whenever you are using your laptop I rather recommend you to keep it only in comfort mode because whenever you fall down your uh, comfort to eco mode the eco mode actually stops your uh, CPU from using more than 1 GHz so your CPU will be running at 0.98 GHz etc like that so your CPU, your computer may be very slow so that's why you should mostly keep your uh, uh, CPU shift at uh, comfort mode and this system tuner and uh, the next one is battery master here you can actually calibrate your battery you can keep uh, your health options here like best for mobility is for charging the battery up to 100 every time balanced is uh, whenever it charge under 70 percent it charges and stops at 80 and best for battery is when it falls under 50 and stops at 60 percent when it's charged so actually you can change these according to your uh, usage and you can actually see your extend your battery life cycle 
So next one is the gaming mode here. Whatever uh, apps or games that you install, they will be shown here, and uh, accordingly the performance will be altered and etc. And the next one is voice visit. Whenever you use uh, a game and an app like Discord etc., you can actually change the volume ratios between. If you keep it more to the game, you will hear more of the voice. And whenever you keep it more of the game, you will hear less voice and more in-game volume. And there is that. And the other one is Mobile Center. You can actually download uh, MSI's app. And then what you can do is actually connect using this QR code here, which I have blurred out because it is my computer's QR code. And you can actually change all of your performance using just your phone. Without uh, always coming back to Dragon Center, you can just directly use your phone just to change any mods. And the last one is Tools and Help, and uh, this is actually use it for uh, making backup recovery images to see your user manuals and your product registration and battery calibration. The battery calibration must be done around three months, uh, at least three months, so that uh, your battery can be much more healthier and give you a long-lasting battery life. And whenever you are buying a new laptop or a new product from MSI, you better use this link to register your MSI product. Sometimes you will also have a chance of getting some goodies, games for free, etc. because you bought their MSI's product. And that's it for now. This is how everything works in the Dragon Center. And thank you for watching. Make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and help me gaining more subscribers and helping me to give you a better content. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.